Do you have weak, thin cords that bend and tear easily? Or do you have plain cords that you want to decorate? Either way, today I'm going to show you three easy ways to wrap your cords. Starting now. The only thing that you will need to prep is your thread. Today I'll be using this slim blue thread with bits of silver in it. When it comes to measuring your thread, make it as long as possible, but keep it short enough that it doesn't get tangled. Since I'm videotaping, I will keep my thread fairly short. Then I'm going to tape my earphones down. You can use a clip or clipboard, but for the sake of this video, I will tape it down instead. First, I'm going to show you how to do the easiest of all the knots. The spiral, which is just a line of knots wrapping around your cord. To start, I'm going to tie a simple knot, making sure one side is short and the other is long. You can go ahead and cut it to make it shorter as well. Then, I'm going to take the longer thread and pull it over the cord to make a four shape. Then, loop it back around under the cord, making an S. Then take the end of the string and pull it through our first hole, pulling it in the opposite direction, which in my case is the right. And the direction you pull it in will be the direction your spiral turns to. Make sure to tuck the shorter thread under the knot so it doesn't stick out. Then repeat, pulling your cord over in a 4 shape, then pull it under the cord in an S, and pull it through the first hole. Da -da 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 -da. And repeat. Make a 4, loop under the cord, make an S, and go through the first hole, pulling tight. And I'm just going to repeat this entire process until you have covered the entire cord. You can cut the shorter thread so you don't have to deal with it anymore. And I'm cutting it after tying a couple of knots so it doesn't come loose. And while you are knotting, you have to untape it and flip it so the knots go around the cord instead of staying in one place. And repeat until you have covered your entire cord. And this is how the spiral looks. It is easy and cute, and since all the thread is knotted so closely together, it cannot shift around. But if you like the look of this wrap, but it looks too simple, I would like to introduce you to Double Spiral. This one looks just like the first, except it has two lines wrapping around the cord instead of one. Starting this wrap is the same as the first, except make sure that the two strings are the same length when you tie them. Now we are going to do the same knot as before, but there are two ways of tying this knot. The first is the 4S one I showed you earlier, and the second is after you make the 4, you loop under the cord and through the first hole, completely skipping the S before pulling tight. Then switching to the thread on the right, I'm going to make a backwards 4, loop under the cord, and straight into the hole we just made, pulling tight. Switching to the left, I'm going to repeat, making a 4, going under the cord and into the hole, and pulling it to the right. And then I'm going to do the same, switching from the left to the right, flipping the cord every now and then, so I can continue my spiral. And to tie it off, I'm going to simply tie both the strings together one to two times before cutting off any extra string. If you want to continue the wrap, get a new string, tying it on like we did in the beginning, tucking the loose ends into the knot so it doesn't stick out. But since I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to end it here. And this is the end result. Personally, I like this more than the single spiral, even if it takes a bit more time. Moving on to the ladder, this wrap is made using square knots and is reversible. 
To make this wrap, first I'm going to tape it on and tie it like I usually do, making sure both sides of the thread are equal. And starting on the left, we are going to make the first half of the square knot. First we are going to cross over the cord and make a 4. Then we are going to take our right string and bring it over our 4. Then we are going to take the right string, loop it under the cord, just like this. Then bring the string through the hole we made earlier, before pulling tight. And that is the first half of our square knot. For the second half, take your right string and make a backwards 4. Then take our left string, bringing it over the backwards 4, loop under the cord, and go through the 4's hole, pulling tight. And that is one set of square knots. And you will just continue this process on the left, making a 4, then take your right string, bring it over our 4, under the cord, and through the 4's hole, pulling tight. Then take your right string, making a backwards 4, then take your left string, bringing it over the 4, under the cord, and into the 4's hole, pulling tight. And if you are anything like me, you might forget which side to do the 4 on. The solution for that is if you look very closely at your knots, the side that has the line of thread is the side that the next 4 should be made on. The side without the line of thread is the side the 4 has just been made on and keep on going until your entire cord is covered. And as you can see, I finished wrapping my earphones. The only part I didn't wrap is the part that connects the two earbuds, but you can go ahead and wrap them if you want. And that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helps you protect your own earphones. Make sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give it a big thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this. Comment down below which one is your favorite. And I will see you guys next week. Bye! Ta-da!